me an L. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Anybody believe that? Angels bow before him. Heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God we serve. Hey. What a mighty God we serve. Come on. Oh, what a mighty God we serve. Oh, angels bow before him. Heaven and earth adore him. him. What a mighty God. Come on, if you believe it, I want to hear you say it. What a mighty God, what a mighty God we serve. I know that angels bow before him, heaven and earth adore him. to be in the house of the Lord today. Okay, I want that same spirit of worship to be present here as soon as you watch these video announcements. So take a seat. Let's see all the stuff going on here, and then we're going to worship together. Good morning, Bethesda. Let me share with you. And as always, you can find out much more at BethesdaCommunityChurch.com. This week, Kairos is ministering in the Cofield Prison Unit, number 51. And so if you would like to engage in prison ministry, please go to the Hub today and learn more about all the different ways inside and outside of the prison that you can serve. We've got a new members class coming up, 8.45 a.m. on May the 5th. Bethesda Kids is available for the little ones if you need it. However, if they're old enough to understand and sit relatively still, then bring them along. They're part of the family, too. They're not going to bother me. So here's your next steps. If you're sensing from the Lord that Bethesda is the church that he's calling you to fully engage with, then your next step is to fill out the new members application online and then join me and a few others in person on May the 5th at 8.45 a.m. This class is all about equipping you with the information that you need so that you can then prayerfully take your next steps. Hey parents, if you have a child that you would like dedicated to the Lord, please get them registered online soon because our next Sunday morning child dedication will be on May the 12th. The 19th annual Light of Life International Golf Tournament is coming up May the 13th. There are so many ways and opportunities to help sponsor the event and or play some terrible golf like I do at a beautiful golf course nearby. You can get signed up for that online. But I also want to tell you, in regards to Lowly, they are going back to Mozambique July 27th through August 5th, and you can go with them. There are spots on the team, and I think you should genuinely ask the Lord if he would like you to go. More information can be found on all right, two quick reminders for you. First of all, our next parent university class focuses on equipping parents to have the talk with their kids. It's this Wednesday, April 17th at 6.30 p.m., and it's a top-notch resource for parents with young kids, so do not miss it. More information can be found online. Do not miss it. And second, this Friday, April 19th, 9.30 a.m., we are hosting our next BCS campus preview. Enrollment is now open for the 24-25 school year, and active church members, as always, get a 10% discount. Find out more. All right, I hope all of that helps you find a place to serve and connect. For more information on these events and many more, please visit BethesdaCommunityChurch.com. Praise the Lord, everybody. Come on, it's time to worship the Lord. I said it's time to worship the Lord. Are you ready?
Give him your thanks today, why don't you? You know, it's amazing to me how many times we don't let him be greater. I mean, really, it's, it's amazing. I catch myself doing it. When I worry about tomorrow and things that, frankly, haven't even happened yet, I'm worried about scenario A, B, C. I'm robbing him of being greater. Because the truth is, if he holds tomorrow, and if he holds my future, and if he holds your future, sometimes I just need to back off and let him be greater. Anybody 
feel that? So how about this? We're going to sing about God's promises that are yes and amen. But before we do that, I want you to just stop and take a moment and say, God, I'm going to, I'm going to give you that place in my life. Greater. I'm going to give you that place in my life. Higher. Higher than the problems I'm facing. Higher than what I'm feeling. Higher than what I'm going through. Stronger. Yep. He can hold things together a whole lot better than you can. So how about let's just take a moment and lift those things to him, and then we're going to sing together. Your promises are yes and amen. Come on, just take a minute. You can speak it out loud. You can do it in your heart. Whatever you want, you can lift your hands. Come on, just all over this room. Begin to give it to him. Hallelujah. You are greater, you are higher, you are stronger. You are greater, you are higher, you are stronger. Oh, take it all, do it all, and get all the glory, Lord. Take it all, do it all, and get all the glory, God. We give it to you. Hallelujah. We give it to you, God. We worship you. Let's sing this together. Father of kindness. Father of kindness, you have poured out grace. You brought me out of darkness. You have filled me with peace. The giver of mercy, your mind. my song. Church, let's declare this together. Come on. All your promises are yes and amen. All your promises are yes and amen. Oh. Anybody grateful about it? We thank you, Lord. We praise your name.
let him be stronger if he's higher let him be higher and we can rest in that because great is thy faithfulness great is thy faithfulness
to just worship him it's okay to press into his presence it's okay to be able to speak out something sing into him a new song hover over this place for Restore God, restore God, restore God. I feel like the Lord might be saying to us today that sometimes if you're looking for restoration in a relationship, that sometimes the strife in the relationship or the problem in the relationship might stem from us not having him in his rightful place, him, the Lord Jesus, in his rightful place. So this morning after we sing, Forever You're My King, maybe you just need to take a moment and put him in that rightful place, the place of king, the place of leader of your life, the place of leadership in your marriage, the place of leadership with your relationship with your kids, or whatever it might be. Just take a moment. Have your place in our lives, God. Be seated on the throne of my life, God. I will follow where you lead me. I will do what you tell me to do. Be seated in the throne of my life, God. Have your way. Have your way in me. Have your way in me. Have your way in me. Have your way. Have your way in my home, God. Have your way in my work, God. Have your way in me. Have your way in me. Jesus, we come to you so grateful that we can even call your name. Grateful that we can even speak it out. Yes. And not not just that we speak it, but when, when we speak it, <laughs> the atmosphere changes, the atmosphere of our relationships change, the atmosphere of our homes change, the atmosphere in this room changes when we just speak out the name, Jesus. And so, Lord, we thank you for your presence here today. We thank you for covering us. 
and God collectively. I'm going to talk for my own life, but on behalf of those in this room here, we put you in your rightful place. King Jesus, we turn our eyes to you. You are our king. You are our leader. You are our shepherd. You are our rock. So we turn back all of our praise to you today, Jesus. Receive our praise. We turn all of it back to you. We love you. We thank you so much for your presence in here today. Are you grateful for the presence of the Lord in this place? Yeah, let's give him an ovation of our praise. Why don't you turn and just greet someone around you? Welcome someone to the house of the Lord today. Tell me you're glad to see them. Good morning, everybody. I know I'm very well aware that some of you absolutely hate the uh, turn around and greet someone around you time. I see your fa Facebook posts. And uh, I was listening to a podcast yesterday, and someone said, you know, the person that created that meet and greet time is probably a person with low emotional intelligence. That's what they said. And, uh, okay, that's fine. Uh, they, they're entitled to be wrong, and that's okay. Um, the, this time is really rooted in a long tradition of the church of passing the peace. And I just want to tell you, I, if you hate it, I'm sorry. Uh, we're going to keep doing it. Um, LAUGHTER so, but hey, but, but there's a reason, there's a reason. I'm so aware that so many of us run in here on a Sunday morning, you've barely gotten a parking space, you get in here and you can sing and you can leave and not speak to anybody, it happens. But we weren't designed for that. That's not what church is about. We're designed to fellowship with one another. We're designed to look one another in the eye and say, how you doing this week? Good to see you. I like that dress, I like that shirt. We're designed to pass the peace of God along to one another. And if you hate that time, let me give you a tool, okay? Just with the people around you, it's simple as this. Good morning. It's really good to see you today. That's all it needs. And good morning, and it's good to see you today. And you know who it's good to see? Steve Bruton on the piano. It's good to see Steve. That's all, that's all it needs. But... That's what we do, church. We pass the peace of God to one another. I, I just want to take a minute and welcome guests. If you are a guest with us, we really welcome you this morning. Don't we, everybody? We welcome you. We love guests, and we really love to turn guests into family. So if you are a guest, maybe it's your first time or your second or third, and you've kind of been checking it out, but you would like to get more connected, we want to connect with you. There are cards in the seat rack in front of you. If you don't have one, if it's down, you can point. Someone will hand it to you if it's down the row from you, or we have some in the back. You can take this card, fill it out, and go to the back. There is a place there called the Hub. Or if you happen to park on the north side of our building, if you walk out these doors, you will run straight into the Hub there as well at the turn of the corner. So one in both places, um, but I just encourage you to go meet the people there. Those folks know all about what's going on at Bethesda, and they can help you get connected. If you turn this in, um, they will give you a little small gift. Uh, our thanks for being here, being with us, and someone will reach out to you this week just to say hello. Uh, one of our pastors will, and just to get acquainted with you. So go fill that out. Uh, I'm curious, how many of you received this week's email communication from Dr. Marty and me? Did you receive that? Good. If you did not receive it, that means that either, number one, you were not on the email list, or number two, 
uh, your emails are going to junk. So I would say if you think you're on the email list, go check your junk folder. If you're not, you can go to BethesdaCommunityChurch.com. It's our website. And in fact, you can just type in slash subscribe. Or if you go under hover over get connected, you can go down to subscribe to our weekly email. Get on that uh, bi-weekly. Pastor Marty and I are going to be sending a communication just to tell you what we're doing in this interim period and how things are going. Uh, this past week's, just for those who didn't receive it, uh, I'll give you a little uh, a brief update. Uh, the pastoral team, we've been working very diligently on our roles and responsibilities in this house. For some, it's just a, a slight tweak or a re redefinition. For some, we're completely imagining, reimagining those roles. We've been working hard on that. And then we've been doing a few things to look at staff culture. And um, it's, it's really, it's a very exciting time right now. We have some wind in our sails, and we believe that God is giving us specific direction about where we're headed. And we're going to unveil more of that in the coming days email list uh, because we, we really want to communicate to you what we feel God is saying to us in this season. Did anybody notice when you came up this morning anything different about the front? Some of you go, no. <laughs> that wooden structure is gone. Hopefully never to return. This week, our uh, preschool is going to be starting the drop-off procedure on this side of the building, so we're able to clear all that off. Classrooms are full. They're being used. Glory to God. It's so exciting. I walked over there this week. It's amazing. They're, they're, they're kind of getting settled in their new rooms, but it's amazing. And it has opened up some other rooms uh, on other parts of the campus that we're going to be able to use for other things. We're going to be moving some of our prayer meetings into those, those other rooms where we've had to kind of stick people here and there. It's giving us space to do some of the other things that we've been needing to do. So praise God for the, the new wing that's open. Um, hey, and I want to tell you about a couple of things that are really exciting. Is um, I don't see the, the Dunnigans. I don't know if Craig and... Diane are here, but uh, they can go back on the webcast. Craig and Diane have a daughter named Micah. She competed in the Special Olympics this week, and she won gold medal in the softball throw. Yeah. A throw of 16 and a half feet. So I'm sure they're watching online if they're not here today. Craig's usually up in the choir, but that is so exciting. And then let me tell you about something else really exciting happening. Stephen Evans and the Lowly team, they're in Botswana, and uh, they are ministering there in schools and hospitals. They're going around to neighborhoods, and I keep getting the reports from Stephen. Amazing things are happening. I mean, really amazing things are happening. And I want you to watch this. Uh, this and oh, go back. There's Larry Blaylock. If you know Larry, he's up there ministering to all of these kids in Botswana. And it's just an amazing thing that God is doing there. Um, and there's Steve New. Andrea, let's play the video. I want you to see the altar call uh, on the first night of the crusade. No longer caught up in darkness. No longer caught up in fear. But you're going to walk in the power of God. Watch as the people begin streaming now to the front. Isn't that amazing? Praise Jesus. Now, here's, here's the deal. Um, we all know this has been a tough season at Bethesda. There's no denying that. If you're, if you're new, you have no idea what I'm talking about, come meet me after and we, we can talk. But, um, but if you've been around a little while, you know it's been a tough season. And one of the areas that just, can we just be honest today as a Bethesda family? One of the things that can happen in a season like this is people can start to get um, soft with their giving. But I just want to tell you, Bethesda is doing, well, let me back that up. The Lord is doing amazing things at Bethesda. And when you give, your giving is supporting the work that's happening in this house. And we have, a, we have a staff, obviously, and we have a lot of ministries. We have hundreds of kids that are in this building right now that preschool teachers and elementary grades are. We have a, an awesome youth group that is growing and thriving. We have a wonderful choir ministry. I could go on and on and on. The work 
of the kingdom is going on. It's happening here every single day on this campus. And amen. And when you give, you're supporting that work here. And when you give, a portion of every dollar that comes in goes to our missionaries. Now, we also give in a, in a special missions offering every other month. But when you give, a portion of that dollar is automatically, it goes over to our missions committee. And we have missionaries around the world, including Light of Life International, that's in Botswana right now, doing the work of the kingdom, impacting eternity. And so, Bethesda, I would just like to say this to you. If you have stopped your giving in this period or you have slowed your giving in this period, I just want you to pray about re-engaging in that way. If maybe you have never given a tithe or an offering, I would encourage you to start. And I'll just tell you, you, you don't give to get. We don't get give to get something back. However, I am a living testimony that when we give, God does give back. And it's sometimes in ways that you can't even, it's hard to quantify. It's not dollar for dollar, but God gives back. And so I just would like to ask you to prayerfully consider your giving. It's important to the church. It is. It's also important in your own spiritual journey in your life. It's very important. So pray about that. And uh, there are lots of ways that you can give. You can go onto our website and click give. There are boxes in the back if you prefer to write a check or drop cash or whatever you want to do. There are boxes at every, uh, or at these three exits anyway. You can go drop it in there. You can mail it. Some people choose to mail it to the church or to write it through uh, their bank. Whatever you choose to do, any of those ways of giving are fine. But just remember this, giving is an act of worship. We worship the Lord when we give. And so thank you for being faithful. Thank you for continuing to give. And um, it's just going to it's going to be amazing to see what the Lord does in the coming days and weeks. He's moving. Amen. Father, I pray over every gift that we receive. God, I just pray that you will bless each gift, that it will be multiplied for you in your kingdom, that you'll stretch every dollar. Father, I just pray for every giver. I pray that you will bless them. I pray that you will favor them. I, uh, Father, know that every person walks in here with different things and different needs, but we know that your eye is on each one of those, and you know what they have need of today, so I pray that your blessing will be upon them. We love you, we thank you for Jesus, and we give now as an act of worship. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen.